welcome to the show. <laughs> Today is a very special day because I'm going to be talking about a new company and a new product line that I'm very excited about. Uh, if you know me, you know that I like to endorse products that are and brands that are very mission driven. And I have found one that I'm really particularly passionate about considering this new trend, actually it, has, it hasn't been new, but this um, evolving trend for natural and organic products and, and brands that really um, truly embody that all natural and organic uh, uh, title. So anyway, uh, just to, to give you a brief background, uh, about maybe six months ago, I was involved in or have been involved in the Holistic Chamber of Commerce in Miami and I went to a, uh, a, a doctor of oriental medicine and he did my mineral count and so instead of going to a regular doctor and them having and, and them doing your cholesterol and your um, blood cells and all the T cells and all the other things that they do at, at a regular uh, blood test they actually found in my minerals count that I had an excess of aluminum, sodium, and mercury. And I asked, how the heck did I, do I have this excess in me? And I had been noticing I'd been getting tired a lot and uh, more fatigued than usual. And the doctor told me that it's in things such as aluminum is in our deodorants and sodium is very prevalent in our hair products, just to name some specific products. And I said, okay, oh boy. And so what I decided to do was do a little bit of research and I kind of dismissed it a little bit for a few months, although I had been starting to already get into having more natural deodorants, for example, aluminum-free deodorants, because a hypnotist several years ago had told me, because I had, I had mentioned my uh, my, my fear of public speaking was causing me to sweat a lot. And he actually mentioned to me, you need to sweat. It's actually good for you. And so the aluminum was causing uh, blockages in the lymphs and that could possibly cause breast cancer. And I said, uh-oh. So that was a couple of years ago. Fast forward about a month ago, maybe it was about six weeks ago, I decided to go to the store and find myself an aluminum-free deodorant. And so I went to Target and the only one that I was able to find was Tom's. And so it actually says it's aluminum free, it's 24 hour order protection, and I didn't really read it too much. I, because I was going through the detox process, it actually didn't work very well. And usually you have to go through about a couple of weeks. But apart from that, it actually didn't work well at all. And after about three or four weeks of using it, so it must have been about two months ago, um, after about three or four weeks ago, I noticed I was still sweating profusely and I wasn't smelling very well. I mean, to be honest, I stink. And I said, this is summer and I can't, <laughs> I can't be going on like that. So about a month or so ago, I was speaking to a young lady by the name of Amari Roman. And she told me that she had uh, an all natural deodorant that she was using from this company called Lemongrass Spa. And I said, hmm, the kind of like the blinkers went on. I said, okay, let me learn more about this. And she told me it's a product line, a brand that is has all natural ingredients, handmade in Colorado, and has about 97% to 100% all natural ingredients with a couple of a couple of percentage, in some cases, food grade preservatives. So I said, okay, so let me learn more about this company. And I did, and I ended up getting their uh, roll-on deodorant fresh it because I had already done a detox that actually um, from my Tom's deodorant it actually it, it worked perfectly right away I didn't have to detox and apparently there is also a uh, another one that is a sport and actually even works really well as well so just to kind of compare the two the Tom's which is aluminum free and it's in fact deceiving uh, still has, even though it does not have aluminum, it still has propylene glycol, sodium stearate, and zinc reconylate, and glycerol laurate. So it also has apparently aloe, leaf juice, and other natural fragrances, and um, sunflower seed oil, 
and a couple of other things. But my point is that it still uses some form of chemical in these minerals that are giving you this 24 hour odor protection. And so this, the point of what I'm trying to tell you here is that you really do need to read labels. Unfortunately, especially in the United States, the FDA has approved several things and several ingredients in our products, in our food, and in our products that you put in and on your body that are not good for you. And in the long run are causing cancers, are causing diseases, and are linked to simple things like everyday symptoms like fatigue, headaches, and that type of thing. So going to the lemongrass roll-on deodorant, this has mineral salts, guar gum, aloe vera leaf extract, sage extract, hemp oil, coriander seed oil, witch hazel extract, clove bud essential oil, and aromatic blend, and that's it. And half of the products in, and half of the ingredients are organic. So, and it works. And this happens to be a roll-on. Uh, the stick doesn't really work for me very well, but the roll-on seemed to pretty work, did it work really well. So, uh, just to give you a brief background on the company, they actually started by a mom who was wanted to have all natural ingredients and she was having a second child. And this was the first product that she created. And um, it's Bath Crystals Candy Cane uh, Fragrance. And there's three ingredients in here. Rock salt, vitamin E oil, and peppermint essential oil. That's it. And it smells amazing. Why? Because it has real peppermint essential oil in it. And so once I started to learn about the company, I started to realize that um, there's other things that I had been using. Uh, for example, they have a bar soap, and they have tea tree, and they have uh, the one that I really love and I use is the uh, is the oatmeal one that smells amazing. And it has blends of palm oils, purified water, coconut oil, grapeseed oil, sweet almond oil, and um, kaolin clay, and other ingredients that just make it so aromatic. And what I had been using which I purchased about two months ago, is St. Ives, which is the oatmeal and shea butter. Also full of sodium lauryl sulfate, sodium chloride, glycerin, it does have shea butter, oatmeal extract, glycol stearate, tetrasodium EDTA, methyl chlorosolonium, citric acid, PPG9, propylene glycol, and three or four other things I don't even know. I can't even read. Okay, so this is in, in the marketing and in the branding. Okay, I'm a branding strategist. The branding is making it sound like it's actually good for you and that has good ingredients in it, and in fact, it doesn't. And then when you look at actual natural products and you read what natural products have, there is a huge difference in what the natural products have and in what the uh, and in what the regular products and the interesting thing is that brand name products and even things like dermatologist approved and created products still have chemicals in them. So if I can impart anything for you today, just a learning tidbit, is just to read the labels before you buy the products, and if they have anything that ends in parabens, they have any type of chemical you can't pronounce, any type of petroleum and um, an alcohol-based ingredients. These things are not only gonna dry you out, but they're also potentially linked to cancer. And so do you really want that in your body? Do you really wanna put that on your body? Because remember, your, your skin is an organ and it is it is uh, soaking up what you put on your body. And we as women, not only use skincare, we use hair, we use deodorant, we use cosmetics, we use hand lotion, foot soaks, so many things, all leading to minerals and chemicals and things that you don't, extra things that you don't need in your body. If you had a choice between something, if, between choosing a product that had all natural ingredients you knew or ingredients that you couldn't pronounce, 
which one would you take? I know my vote. And I don't care how effective it's supposed to be or how what awards it's won or what dermatologists have uh, created it or endorsed it. I'm going to go with the all-natural product any day because in the long run, having less stuff and less chemicals that we use is going to make us more beautiful, our skin more beautiful, and us feel better in the long run. Why have to create another condition for us to have to use a chemical for? So anyway, I hope that, I, that, you, uh, that you learned something and that I gave you that one tip that you can use, which is to read your labels. And that's a wrap for Mission Chat Show. Hope you have a mission-filled day. Bye.